Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we have to solve this differential equation by using Laplace transform. Now here we can check that this differential equation is in variable t. That means t is independent variable and y is dependent variable which depends on this variable t. Here we can write this differential equation as here this is y dash minus 4y is equals to e raised to thrice t, right? When we solve this differential equation, we get solution in variable t. That means we get one function y of t, right? Now here we have this given condition. We have this is value of y is given 1 at t is equals to 0. That means this differential equation is with this condition. This is y of 0 is equals to 1, right? Yes, now we can write this differential equation also as here. This is y dash of t minus 4y of t is equals to e raised to thrice t. Now we have to solve this differential equation by using Laplace transform. And we know when we have one function of t and when we take its Laplace, we get new function f of s. This is Laplace transform of this f of t, right? Now here we have function y of t. When we take its Laplace, this is we get y of s, right? Now for the sake of convenience, we will write down this is this Laplace, this is as a y bar of s and this f of t Laplace, this is as a f bar of s. Okay, now here we have y dash of t that means when we take Laplace of y dash of t, yes, we know that by using the property of Laplace transform, we can write this is as a yes y bar of s minus y of 0 and this y of 0 is obtained by this y of t by putting t is equals to 0, right? And this is we have write down this property by Laplace transform. Now we have to take Laplace transform of this differential equation. So we get here this is Laplace of y dash of t minus this is 4 into Laplace of y of t and Laplace of e raised to thrice t. Now this is Laplace of y dash of t. This is we can write this is here. This is yes y bar of yes minus y of 0 right and for this is constant and now Laplace of y of t this is y bar of s and Laplace of e raised to 3 t this is 1 upon s minus 3. Yes we have this formula Laplace of e raised to a t this is given by 1 upon s minus a right. Now we have to simplify this equation we have y bar of s so we can take that y bar of s common so here we have s minus 4 into y bar of s right now y of 0 what is the value of y of 0 this is given condition y of 0 is equals to 1 so here we have to write down this is 1 and this 1 upon s minus 3 this is as it is Next here we have to simplify. So here we have s minus 4 into this y bar of s. We have to shift this minus 1 to this side. So here we have 1 upon s minus 3. This is plus 1. So now on the simplification here we have this is s minus 3. This is 1 plus s minus 3. Right. On simplification here we have this is s minus 2 upon s minus 3 and this side this is as here s minus 4 into y bar of s. 
again we have to do the simplification so here we have y bar of s is equals to s minus 2 upon s minus 3 into s minus 4 now we got here function of variable s right this is laplace transform right now we have to take its inverse laplace so that we will get function of t right so for this we have to resolve this function by using partial fraction now these are the linear factor right so we can write this is as a upon s minus 3 plus b upon s minus 4 now we have to find the values of a and b here so for finding a Now for finding b, we have to put s minus 4 is equals to 0 that means s is equals to 4 on this side by avoiding this factor, right? So for b, we have to write here s minus 2 upon s minus 3 and we have to put s is equals to 4 here. So this is, so we get here value of a and b a is minus 1 and b is here 2. Now we have to put down this value here. So we can write this is y bar of s as here. This is minus 1 upon s minus 3 and this is 2 upon s minus 4. Right. Yes, here we have write down this y bar of s, this function in this form by using this partial fraction so that we can use inverse Laplace transform formula easily here, right? Now, we have to take inverse Laplace of this function. Now, L inverse of y bar of s, this is y of t, right? And we can take this minus 1 outside. So here we have L inverse of 1 upon S minus 3. Same here we can take this 2 outside. So remaining L inverse of this 1 upon S minus 4. Right. So here L inverse of 1 upon S minus 3. This is E raised to thrice T. And L inverse of 1 upon S minus 4. This is E raised to 40 right we have this standard formula l inverse of 1 upon s minus a this is e raised to a t right yes so we got this is here y of t is equals to we can write this is as a 2 e raised to 4 t minus e raised to thrice t right and this is the required solution of given differential equation by using Laplace transform method, right? Now we have to verify this solution by using CF and PI method. Yes, we have given differential equation. This is dy by dt minus 4y is equals to e raised to thrice t and given condition this is y of 0 is equals to 1 and we know how to find its solution by using cf and pi yes we have this solution y of t is equals to cf plus pi right we know how to find cf and pi yes so we have to proceed for cf and pi
This year we have find solution by using CF and PM method. Yes, this is same as we have find. This is by using Laplace transform method, right? And this is here we have done verification of this solution by using CF and PM method, right? So in this way we have to proceed for finding solution of given differential equation by using Laplace transform. For this we should know this property of Laplace transform of derivative, right? So yes, that's it for now. See you in the next video. Thank you. Keep watching.